Okay, so now another an anatomic obstruction is a deviated septum, which Dr. Rivera had briefly mentioned. So let's take a look at some of the symptoms of a deviated septum, starting with nasal congestion on, on or both sides of the nose. Is this correct, Dr. Rivera? Yes, very often people with a deviated septum, their congestion can alternate sides because the deviation is just not in one point. It can be deviated to the left in the front of their nose, to the right in the back of their nose. And so as they change position while sleeping at night mm -hmm. or as their, uh, the cycle of the nose goes throughout the day, which is a change in swelling, they can experience better airflow through one side compared to the other. That's a very common complaint and chronic breathing difficulties and noisy breathing during sleep. Yes, very often people come to us with the primary complaint of snoring, and you mm -hmm. find that snoring is actually due to their septum being deviated. Really? Yes, airflow that's turbulent, which happens through very narrow passages, becomes noisy. Mm -hmm. So if your septum is deviated and your nasal passage is narrow, that can contribute to you snoring. So very often people with deviated septums do snore. Mm, is that also tied to like a sleep apnea as well? Absolutely. Uh, very often if you're snoring, if it's disrupting your sleep to the point that you're waking up several times a night and you feel very fatigued throughout the day, not only do you have a baseline problem of breathing through your nose, but you might also have sleep apnea. And that's a very important consideration because sleep apnea in the long run is having a very bad effect on the heart and lungs. Right. So it's very important to diagnose that and treat it appro appropriately. Now, uh, moving down, we have facial pain and headaches. So this is very common with a deviated septum? It's possible. If you have a septum that's deviated enough and it can pinch the lateral nasal right. wall, there are people with a deviated septum who do have headaches. Mm -hmm. More often than not, when you encounter facial pain in the context of a deviated septum, it's because their sinuses are also narrowed or obstructed, and they, in conjunction, have sinusitis. It's not uncommon to treat both at the same time. And post-nasal drip, we hear that term frequently, mm -hmm. and nosebleeds is the most extreme case, correct? Yes, if people have trouble breathing through their nose or their nose dries out, for example, then they can have nosebleeds. Mm -hmm. And most of these people are also dealing with some degree of inflammation or congestion that will lead to mucus production and postnasal drip.